Prostate cancer kills. It's the second leading cause of cancer death in men, but not all prostate cancers are the same. There are some very low-grade, slow-growing cancers, and then there's the high-grade, fast-growing cancers that can end up killing someone. Unfortunately, you don't know which cancer you have unless you get screened. The prostate is a small, approximately the size of a walnut organ that sits at the base of the bladder. It helps provide some fluid to help with the transport of sperm, um, and it also has a function in the urinary system. As one ages, the prostate can increase in size and typically can cause two or three different problems over the lifetime for a man. It can become enlarged, which can cause a narrowing of the opening and making it more difficult for men to urinate. It can become inflamed or infected, which is causing uh, pain and discomfort, or it can become cancerous. The American Cancer Society and the Delaware Cancer Consortium believe that men are entitled to an informed decision about prostate cancer screening. And in fact, you as the patient should speak to your physician and discuss both the risks and benefits of having a prostate screening performed. Prostate cancer screening involves two components a PSA blood test and a prostate exam. The PSA blood test is a simple blood test that can be done at any lab, and the rectal exam or the prostate exam involves a digital examination of the prostate to feel for any surface abnormalities such as a nodule, lump, or bump. There are also several significant potential risks or harms with prostate cancer screening, which typically involves a prostate biopsy that may not necessarily be needed if there's no evidence of prostate cancer. The biopsy itself also has risks, bleeding and infection can occur. And finally, if one is diagnosed with prostate cancer, there are forms that are non-aggressive and slow growing that don't necessarily need treatment. And sometimes if it is treated, there are potential complications to the treatment itself. Those complications can include urinary incontinence or erectile dysfunction. In general, African Americans or those men who have a family history of prostate cancer are at highest risk. And in those categories, those patients should be counseled to begin screening at age 40. For African Americans, the risk of having prostate cancer is two to three times greater than the general population, so it makes it crucial that you have that discussion with your provider. Other potential risk factors for the development of prostate cancer, they include a diet high in fat and low in fiber. There are some studies that suggest smoking may increase your risk for prostate cancer. If you fall into one of those high risk categories, it is of utmost importance that you talk to your provider immediately. If the baseline screening shows an abnormality, a discussion should ensue about the next steps in terms of a possible biopsy or evaluation for uh, making the diagnosis of prostate cancer. If the baseline screening is normal, uh, the next step would be when to set up the next interval screening test. The most important thing to remember is that you're in charge, so it's important that you have a discussion with your healthcare provider to see if prostate cancer screening is appropriate for you. I think most men are afraid or concerned about having a prostate exam done because it's taboo or, or not macho or, or not masculine and they prefer not to have it done. Um, but it's really important to tell them that you know, a five second prostate exam could potentially save their life.